I wasn't like this blockhead. I wasn't this like this maniac. Like I'm very, very like reserved. I'm very, very quiet. But then when it comes fight time, it completely, you flip in a switch and I'm totally different. Joe Lozon, Bridgewater, Massachusetts. When you're 22 years old, you're making your UFC debut against a former world champion. You are going to have your hands full. So my first fight in the UFC was against Jens Pulver. Didn't know what I was getting into. He's got his hands full. He's a young guy with a lot of promise and a bright future ahead of him. But this is definitely a significant test for him in his first fight in the UFC. You know, but I just remember like, you know, going to the venue and going to the hotel and checking in and everyone's like, you know, it's for my first time. No one knows me. Like, oh, who are you fighting? I'm like, oh, I'm fighting Jens Pulver. He's like, oh, it's like they're looking down, looking away. It's like, you know, because he was like the reigning champ to that point. You know, he was the UFC champion and then he went out and fought in Japan a little bit and he came back and like, you know, so now I'm this this 21 year old, 22 year old kid that is supposed to be fighting him. And every time I meet someone there, I was like, oh, who are you fighting? And they just all looked down. It was just, it wasn't, it wasn't a good, wasn't a good start, but the, the fight went great. The entire camp we talked about, you know, trying to, you know, basically get him to, um, you know, keep his hands up so we could take him down. So we worked on like throwing a heavy hook and then shooting the takedown and then going back and forth, vice versa. Uh, but I took him down right away. Wow, nice Lozon gets him Lozon. down. Very, very impressive. We got back up and this time when I, I faked the takedown, I, I clipped him. Down goes Paul Good again. Knee, but Lozon again. Again. Down Talk. goes Taylor. Taylor. Is out. And it He's is out. over. Unbelievable. It is over. Joe I think I was more shocked than anybody else. So when I fought Jeremy Stevens, it was like, it was a main event. Didn't really know what to expect, what was gonna go on, but it was cool, you know, being on all the posters and all that kind of stuff. Um, so I was supposed to fight Hermes Franca. Hermes Franca got hurt, and I'm fighting Jeremy Stevens. So it was kind of like a last minute replacement. I was supposed to be fighting a guy that was like good jiu-jitsu, and now I'm fighting a guy that's like a crazy striker. Um, you know, but I had like the worst training camp you could ever imagine. Like, I got my tooth knocked out, and then I, I threw a knee and my, one of my guys, Andy, threw a knee at me and hit me in the groin. And like, I, I basically like, couldn't do any jiu-jitsu for like a month. I rolled my ankle really, really bad. It was just nonstop thing after thing after thing. Um, you know, but the, the fight went great though. You know, like, uh, you know, Jeremy Stevens is a crazy striker. Um, you know, took him down, you know, uh, kind of ran a little bit of a jiu-jitsu clinic on him, like passed his guard so many times, mounted him so many times. Uh, he cut me over the eye, the hairline, something like that. And then I submitted him, got him with a nice arm lock from out, uh, which is a little sketchy, right? You're on top, you're trying to stay on top, you're trying to not let someone get on top. I get mount position, and then I'm like, oh, I'm just gonna go for this arm lock. Wow. But we finished him, we got submission of the night. Good time. I fought Jamie Varner in August of 2012, and it was a great fight, you know? So going in the fight, we knew Jamie Varner, he was a WEC champ, you know, the UFC had absorbed WEC, so he's like one of these champs that's come in, you know, knocking people out, great boxing, great wrestling, you know, how are we gonna deal with this guy? So our grand game plan was we're gonna let him punch me in the top of the head and break his hand, which is kind of how it worked out, right? You know, I, I did a good job keeping my chin down, just kept pressing forward the entire time, didn't give him an inch to breathe. Uh, he definitely hurt his hand on the top of my head. Uh, we just took it to him though, we took him down a couple times. Back the other way comes oh. loose, so this is a war now! This has got fight of the night written all over it. Uh, we, we got fight of the night and we got submission of the night, right? So we, there was a sweep that we worked on like nonstop, right? So when Jamie shoot, shot his blast double, which we knew he would have to do once he broke his hand. Joe's gonna sweep him. sweep him, he's gonna sweep him. Uh -oh. Very nicely done by Joe Lozon. We had a really, really good sweep and in the course of trying to take his back, I jumped into a triangle. Uh, he almost slipped out of it, but I, I hit him with a bunch of elbows because if, if straight jiu-jitsu, he would have gotten away for sure. But I was able to punch an elbow, so I hit him a couple times, made him drive back in, got the submission, made everyone pretty proud. Now he's got it. It's all over! Joe Lozon, winner by submission! I fought Diego Sanchez at UFC 200. The infamous, horrible yellow mat, right? So, um, you know, going in the fight with Diego, we didn't really know what to expect, right? You know, so Diego's got cr crazy stand up, just like, you know, pushes a really crazy pace, never know what to expect. Or sometimes he comes out with crazy aggressive takedowns and he's got some of the best ground and pound ever. Um, so we didn't really know what to expect. So usually I like to come out and be a little bit more aggressive, uh, but we didn't know what he was gonna do. I didn't wanna come out and be aggressive and have him take me down. So we came out a little bit more tentative to kind of see what he was gonna do. Um, and, you know, I just, I tagged him with the right hand, I stunned him and I just never let him off, right? So like I just, uh, I try to consistently hit him with short little choppy shots, hit him with some elbows, hit him with some forearms, 
hit him with some good punches. I remember like him being on the fence and he just like punching away. And like, I'm waiting for the referee to stop, but he's just not stopping. I'm like, what are you doing? So like, I'm looking at the referee, I'm like, you gonna stop this? And I'm looking over both shoulders, throwing punches. Uh, Diego, the ref's like, Diego, defend yourself. Diego, defend yourself. And he's like, I'm trying. And then his mouthpiece goes flying. Um, it was just, it was a great fight. I just, you know, I just, I hurt him a little bit and I just never let him off the hook. I just kept the pressure going and got the finish. Joe Lozon has hinted this could be his final UFC walk. He'll certainly have the crowd behind him when he makes it to take on Jonathan Pierce. My, my very last fight could have very likely been the last fight of my career, right? I got to fight in Boston. I fought a tough kid. Uh, it was a flawless victory. I didn't get touched at all. Uh, complete domination. I tagged him with some punches, took him down, took his back and kind of, you know, worked over his shoulder a little bit. His shoulder is completely cranked. That is it. Not done yet. Joe Rosa by 2K. Um, great, great fight. It was awesome to fight back at home. It was great to fight in front of so many friends and family. Like, people went crazy. I've been in the TD Garden a bunch of times, and like it, it was just so loud in there. Like people went so crazy when I won. Um, great, great fight. Could have been the last one, but we, we decided to roll the dice and try it again. Cowboy and I both had a lot of bonuses. Right? We both have very, very exciting fights. It's gonna be an awesome fight, right? It's either I'm gonna take it to him early on, and I'm gonna put pressure on him, I'm gonna try and you know, work him over, or he's gonna endure, he's gonna last it out, and he's gonna have you know, his way a little bit in the later part of the fight. So it's gonna be a really, really good fight. Definitely gonna be a bonus.